Morning, Ricardo. How are you? <laughs> good morning. I'm good. I'm good. I'm ready <laughs> to talk a little bit about headsets, which I love the most. Welcome to everyone, um, to all our resellers uh, joining this session, which is the part one of two parts of headsets revolution. Um, part one will be focusing a bit on the contact center versus the unified communication headsets, the differences, and so on. And um, we do have Ricardo Alonso here, which is most probably the expert and the highest qualified, I would say, guy in the headset. Um, it's definitely important for us and for our resellers uh, to have the session. Uh, we haven't done it for some time. To maybe just focus a bit of what is changing the headset environment, what is the differences, um, the work from home, the unified communication headsets that play a bigger, most important, more important role. Um, you know, what, what, what is the differences between it? Um, I think it's very important for us to cover that and to actually uh, educate ourselves when we sit in front of our end users or our um, opportunities. Um, Ricardo, um, before I hand over to you, um, I just wanted to mention that I want the session to be as interactive as possible. Um, if anybody's got any questions, please raise your hand. Uh, let's stop right then and there um, so we can ask the question to Ricardo. We can unmute yourself or you can type the question into the chat. Um, alternatively, uh, you can put your video on as well. Um, Ricardo, from my side, if I think anything is um, relevant to um, what is being discussed, I would like to just ask questions as well. But I think without any further delay, I'm handing over to you, Ricardo, um, and yeah, very excited to okay. see what you've got for us. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Thanks so much. So um, yeah, as uh, Rodney was saying, uh, I am more like the expert about headsets. So I will explain you a little bit my role in Poly. I am the headset sales acceleration manager for ROE, which is our rest of Europe. So it's Southern Europe, Africa, Middle East, uh, Greece, Israel, Turkey, um, I think it's around 75 countries, something like that. So it's it's quite a big space to cover, but uh, I really love it. I've been working on the headsets market for like 13 years, something like that. So I, I, I really love it. So feel free to ask me any question. If you have doubts or even you have my email, you can reach me anytime. I, I Some people really think that I am crazy about working. It's not that I'm crazy about working. It is that I do love what I do and I do love the products that I always show you and share with you and, you know, try at home. It's, it's really, really, really nice. Okay. So I'm going to try to do this presentation, like very interactive as Rodney said. So I want this to be more like a group of friends that are all together. So you can stop me anytime, say, Hey, Ricardo, I don't understand this. So I would like you to, to tell me a little bit more about this or about that. Is this true that we don't have too much time. We're going to have around uh, 40, I'm going to have around 40 minutes, 45 minutes to explain you everything. So, um, it's going to be quite difficult, but we're going to make it. Okay, we we have today. We'll be covering more like differences between the different families, and the next day we will be covering more technology. So you will see one slide that is more about technology. I would probably pass that one like very quick because we will we will we will um, review that the next day. Okay, so should I start, Rodney? Is it okay? Yeah, good. Yeah, please. Okay, go for let's it. Go. Okay, okay. So. You know, for those that you don't know Poly that much, uh, Poly, it's more like the integration between Plantronics and Polycom. Probably you know that very well from uh, Polycom video conferencing, Plantronics for headsets. And just like a very, very quick review so that you understand the background, Plantronics comes from plane electronics. So we were developing headsets for the, for the pilots, for the planes. And then we started developing headsets for the NASA, so which is great. So when Armstrong, uh, went to the moon, it was with our headset. I'm not sure if he got there, if it was not true, and it was all like something that someone invented, but I know that he was using our headsets, okay? And this year, it was a great year for us because Preston Sullivan gave us the award for professional uh, technology innovation leadership, uh, leadership. This is great because this is all the technology that we launched this year and that you will be seeing next day which is absolutely great. And it's technology that you don't see in any of vendors right now. Um, and you will be the first ones to see and to learn about, about this technology that is absolutely amazing. Technology that we never thought that would exist uh, nowadays, but now you're able to buy it and for a very affordable price, which is great. So, you know, as I said uh, before, uh, in the next session, we will be covering a lot more about technology, okay? Because all these headsets, they do have a lot of technology. 
lots of technology that you would probably say, what is the meaning of this? How it works? How is this going to help me on my daily work? Because, you know, we have the pandemic right now and it's very difficult because in the past we used to work at the office when we were sometimes like um, very stressed out because people were talking around us and we couldn't concentrate, we couldn't focus on work and it was very, very difficult. Uh, we could maybe move to a meeting room or move someplace at the office that nobody could ever, you know, bother us. So, but now it's very difficult because right now I'm, I'm at home, for example, this is my house. I have my dog, Maria, she's playing around with her bones. I don't know, she's like driving me crazy. I can see her actually. But the good thing is that you, you, you don't notice that. And that is great because some, some of you might have kids. Some of you have, might have like someone knocking on the door and you want to focus on what you're doing and you want to concentrate. And of course, you don't want all that noise to be in the microphones. You don't want that. So you need a headset that is really like very smart and thinking about how to give you the best performance so that the productivity is always very high. So we're gonna be able to review that later and I'm sure you're gonna love it. And probably by the end of the session, we say, oh my God, I, wanna, I need to try this. I need to, to check it by myself to see if it's true, okay? But I will do a demo, not today, but the next day I will do a demo that will show you the benefits of using a professional headset, okay? So if you hold on to that, to that moment, then you will be fully convinced, okay? So let's just start with the families. It's gonna be quite easy because we're gonna review first, as Rocky said, we're gonna have the uh, UC versus contact center, which is black wires versus in core, okay? Then we're gonna review wireless technology, which is quite difficult, but I'm gonna to try to make it very quick, which is gonna be savvy against the Voyager series. And then if we have time, and I think we're gonna make it at least very, very quick, we're gonna talk about speaker phones, okay? Um, speaker phones have been very, very well known uh, for the last, uh, I don't know, 10 years, uh, very uh, not expensive, where, where you can do audio conferencing, extremely quick and good quality. And now we have step forward and I think the technology that we have now in the sync family is, I think it's right now, there is nothing like that, okay? So let's just start with this. I'm gonna have just my cell phone here so I can check the time that I'm, I don't take too much time, okay? So let's just start with this, okay? So the first family that I will be showing you is the incorporate family. Of course, I'm not gonna go headset by headset, but I want you to have the image very clear. Some people think that when they're they are like offering a headset or they're a customer, they're buying a headset for a contact center, they think that any headset is valid. And that is wrong. That is wrong because uh, would you be using, uh, I don't know, your shoes, the ones that you use for work for running? I don't think so. Why? Because if you're gonna go uh, for running with those kind of shoes, uh, yeah, they're gonna, you're gonna look pretty elegant, but at the same time, it's gonna be uncomfortable. At the same time, you're gonna, destroy those shoes, they're gonna look terrible. And at the end, they're not gonna be able to hold you running the whole time. So you're gonna have a lot of pain, it's not gonna look good. Something similar is gonna be with the contact center headset. The contact center headsets, like the one that I have here, I don't know if you're able to see my image. This is the Encore Pro. This headset has been fully designed for the contact centers. So the whole Encore Pro family is for the contact centers. And if you have a customer that has a contact center, you have to believe that the this headset is going to be the main tool they're going to be using, the most important tool they're going to have for voice. So this is the, the only thing they're going to be, uh, they're going to use to judge all the installation that they have in the contact center. Why? Because they're going to be using this for hours. So first thing, it has to be very light. Second thing, it needs to be very robust. So the plastics that you use and the rubbers that you use in this headset needs to be the best in class. You will see. This is a tube, for example, and you need to be able to do things like this. You know, you see that what I'm doing, okay, I'm not breaking it. Why? Because they need to be very robust because depending on the people that will be using this, they need to always, you know, uh, keep the same shape so that the microphone is always close to the mouth and that they don't break. So this is why the tube that we use here is made by laser in a single piece, so no joints, this way, you know, it will never break. And if we want to bend it, because we need to be close to the mouth, when it plays it here, it needs to be like one centimeter close to the mouth, so the microphone, per the performance is really good. I need to have a memory also on the, on the plastics, on the tube, on the rubber. So, so it has a memory that we will hold like this for hours and hours and hours. 
And this is good because imagine that Rodney is calling me at 9 a.m. in the morning. I bend my tube and Rodney will listen to me with very nice quality, very high quality because the microphone is very close to my mouth and the noise canceling is excellent because the noise canceling is always at the, at the back of the microphone. So it will be protecting from that noise. So microphone inside and noise canceling outside. But imagine that Rodney calls me at 7 p.m., you know, hours later. If the plastics were not good, because of the strength of the plastics that many vendors use, the plastics will, you know, take the tube back to this position straight. What happens if the tube is straight? We have a problem. Because if the window is open, like bad people can enter the house. So if the window is open, it means that the microphone is going to look to the left, but not to the right. So it will amplify what is on the left, but not on the, on the right. It will cancel only this side, not the whole you know, range. That is a problem because we have many contact centers saying, Ricardo, they bought this headset, but the, the noise canceling is not that good. Did you bend the tube? Oh, no. Okay, you need to bend it. That's why mm -hmm. it's a Plantronics headset. It's a poly headset. It will never break. The plastics are good, are robust. You know, they are meant to, uh, to uh, be durable. So if you bend it, the microphone will still inside. The noise canceling will be outside. So this the in corporate family has been done for be, you know, being very robust. Another thing is that if you see here, it has aluminum. And this aluminum is the same aluminum that we use on those pilots that I told you, that uh, headset for pilots that I told you before, remember? How are the headsets for pilots? They, are, they have very hard plastics. They are very robust. They need to, uh, they suffer a lot of stress. So we need to be very durable. You know, you see the headband, for example, and it goes back to, to the same shape. So that's what I I'm telling you guys. So if you are offering this for a contact center or if you work at the contact center, you need to make sure that all these parts, what makes the headset very robust. It is true. It's not as attractive as a black wire. The black wire looks, wow, it's cool, cool very nice. It looks super nice with leather, uh, the foams, everything. But it's different because we need to understand that every people is different. And at the end, in a contact center, they're on the phone like maybe eight hours. And with the black wire unified communication headsets, it's meant for like, having a conference, but it's maybe one hour, then I stop, I keep doing emails and another call. So it is different. I'm not, I'm not on the phone all the time, which you get the contact center, it is. So in corporate family, always remember, it's like very robust. Um, the plastics are extremely good, extreme, you know, very good sound, very good noise canceling, very good microphones. So it is the right option for the contact center. I know that before we used to have contact center uh, headsets like very, very expensive. They were the most expensive in the market. They were like the best from the best, the contact center headsets. But this year we introduced the Encore 300 series is the one that you see here. It's a very entry level headset, a very good entry level headset that will cover all your needs. So same tube, made by laser, single piece, very robust, high density foams. And you might say, what is a high density foam? Well, high density foam will help us to be able to focus on the conversation and not to hear you know, all the noise around us. That's a high density foam. So you have it mono, you have it dual, you have USB, uh, you have it also in QD. You might connect it to the Encore, to the uh, desk phone with the, uh, the, any of the Encores. So that is, that is what it is, uh, a contact center headset. So mainly a headset is gonna be used all day in a contact center and board, man. It needs to be, something that will last for a long time or months. Ricardo, years. Just, just a question from my side quickly. So um, the, the previous headset you just illustrated was the um, Encore Pro 500 series. That's great. Yeah. That's the one you had in your hands there. So when we look at this Encore Pro 300 series that you got on the screen here now, is that made from the same material? I don't see that aluminum strip on it. Obviously, it's just to reduce the price right. of it or to make it more competitive. Yeah. But everything else is, um, you can also bend the microphone. You can, um, I, I, it was very impressive when you actually took the whole headset and you bend it upwards like that. I, I thought it was going to snap. Um, is it more or less the same? Is it going to be durable like that series as well? It is the same. It is the same. It's, it is exactly the same. And this is something that not many people uh, pay attention to. But I invite you, when you see contacts, uh, headsets uh, from other vendors, uh, you'll see that probably the entry-level headset that they have, it is 
the same headset that they had for the next uh, for the for like, the, the uh, sorry, the same headset they had for the last ten years, fifteen years, but only painted in black, in green, or whatever it is. This headset mm -hmm. has been fully redesigned. It's a new headset. It's not that the Intera was painted. It's not that the Supra Plus was painted. It was not, no, it is same redesign as you said. We used some of the parts of the Encore 500 series to make it very robust, to make a new headset, but for an entry level price. So, uh, no aluminum, which is probably the most expensive part of the headset, no aluminum. And at the same time, the Encore 500 has something which is very interesting. Some people believe that is the technology what gives you the best performance in terms of noise canceling, and that is fully wrong. It is true, but it's not true. When you have a voice tube like this one, what is more, more important for noise canceling is first, that it's quite long. People think that, it, oh, it's a long tube, it's ugly. No, no, the performance is gonna be the best. No technology can cover that because the microphone is gonna be close to your mouth. So first is the tube. And second thing that is that this headset, when you move it up and down, when it's not, I'm sorry that you cannot hear this, but when, you, when it's in the right position, the, the headset does like click, 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 just to tell the user, leave it there. Because if you put it up like this, it's loose. But if you go here, here, it starts doing like clack, clack, you see? Here's mm -hmm. the clack, clack, and here it's loose. So it's just a way to avoid that the contact centers that were, you know, we, we provide headsets that they don't have the, the best performance possible. So. Yeah, as for your question, yeah, it is this, it is most of the parts are the same as in the four five hundred. Okay. There's some things that are different. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, we'll I think on. that um, one of the things is we need we need to get all our resellers to walk into contact centers and start bending the heads like that to see if the durable like the Pentronics or the polys. Yeah, people love using mm -hmm. the black wire now for contact centers. It's a problem that yeah. we have in all over the world. And I tell them when they say, Oh, Ricardo, but it's not it's not so durable. Yeah, it is durable, but of course, this is a headset that had been made to be used like maybe three hours, four hours per day versus a headset that's been done just for like use it very mm -hmm. intensive users. So you are not using the right shoes. As I said before, check, you know, before you go running, I'm sure you all go to the store and say, mm, I like this Nike, you know, this Reebok, mm, look at this, look at that. If you take so much time because you're not gonna go running, and you want the best performance, you want to be comfortable, you be able to run for like, I don't know, one hour, two hours, I don't know how many kilometers, make sure that you look for the right shoe. Otherwise you're gonna have problems in the future, okay? So- Yeah, I think that definitely, um, just to add to that is that obviously you can't go running with uh, court shoes. But one of the big differences as well is that um, uh, the quick disconnect that we've got on the contacts and the headsets, which make it a lot easier for agent to actually move around and to uh, disconnect himself from the line. Yeah, and because of hybrid working, uh, that we have now contact centers, we have lots in Iberia, for example, in Spain, that they, they used to be at the contact center, now they're at home, you have lots of chances, because you are with a QD connected to this desk phone, maybe they're sending you home, you just remove that cord and have the QD USB, so now you can use it with your, your soft phone, so, and here in Poly, we always have, like, an option to protect the investment of the customer. Some people say, mm. oh, I have a black wire. It's only USB, Rodney. Oh, I need to work with a desk phone. Should I, I throw it away? No, we have the MDA 220 with an accessory. You connect the USB and you can connect to the PC and the desk phone. So two devices in a USB headset. So we do always have options. So don't ever think that, oh, the investment that I did, not valid anymore. We don't want that. We want the customers, the sellers to be happy and say, wow, I now have an option. Okay, I'm going to now move on and maybe start using my cell phone. I'm going to be using my PC. I want to integrate desk phone, PC, and, and cell phone, all three in one. We can do that. We can do that, okay? So before thinking that it's not possible, always talk to us, talk to Rodney, talk to me, talk to Neil, and we'll find a way to make it possible, okay? So then we're going to move out to the black wire. Okay, we said for contact center, the end core. For the, for the unified communications, it's gonna be the black wire series. So as always, you need to give possibilities to people. You cannot say, hey, you want a UC headset? Buy this one or move on. No, that's not the case. 
we always need to understand that there are different companies, different ways of working, different needs. That's why what you will see here, like for different headsets, the, if you check the number, the lowest 33 series would be the entry level, the 8225, which is the one that I have here, would be the top of the range. So these headsets at the end, as I said, they're mainly done for unified communication. So maybe to use with Teams, with Skype, with Zoom, with um, Cisco, Avaya, whatever you need, okay? By the way, I was not gonna explain this, but I'm gonna explain it because I think it's really interesting, okay? Some people uh, might have seen in the market now Teams headset. You see the Teams, Teams logo here? It's a Teams logo, okay? You see it? Yeah, okay. So, so my, many people might think, oh my God, I bought so many headsets for Teams, no, for Skype, and now I'm using Teams. Is it gonna be compatible? It's gonna be fully compatible. You don't have to worry about that. So it's gonna work, okay? And if some vendor comes and tells you, no, the Teams variant has something very special with super sound, you see lights, you see everything changes for you. Not true. The performance is gonna be the same. So there is no difference if you use the Teams version or the standard version, if you're using the same headset, okay? No difference. The only difference, for example, in our case that we had the 32 series, but it was more for Skype and the 33 series with the Teams logo, it is just the memory. The memory that it's in the headset has to be larger to be able to have in the memory all the commands about when I push this button and it flashed the lights or when I press the Teams button, the menu comes up. In terms of technology, it uses the same technology. It's just the memory. And because we couldn't fit the memory in the old headset, we had to create new ones. So don't ever believe that because it has the Teams logo, it is much better for you. Yeah, the flavor, the experience is going to be better for you if you have teams, but it's not going to change. So because I have many resellers, uh, many customers that they do believe, no, no, I want the teams variant because it's going to be much better recorded. No, no, no. Noise canceling is the same. Speakers are the same. Everything is the same. So no worry if tomorrow uh, you're going to use uh, uh, Blackberry 225 with teams or with, uh, with teams without the teams logo. This, the experience is going to be the same. So this headset, as I said, they are very, very attractive. They're, these are the ones, the Blackboards that I use for all my, my uh, customers that they're using, for example, Teams. They're going to uh, deploy Teams for the whole company. They want a headset that is very attractive because some people is like, no, I don't want to use a headset. It doesn't look good. It's not so nice. So you need to first create something that is attractive, that people really want to use. Say, wow, I like this headset. The way it looks, I want to use it. Second thing, they are like very uh, comfortable also. They have here the leather, they have the foam, but they are very, they're he not heavy, but they are heavier than the contact center headset. Remember the ones that we saw the Encore? Very, very light. And this uh, Encore uh, headsets, because they are very light, you can, you can use them for like, the whole day. This one's a little bit heavier and they maybe have more like sometimes technology like acoustic fans or maybe A and C that will be technology that will be reviewing the next day. A and C, for example, is the possibility that when I press a button, I'll, I'll, I won't listen to anything. Like it will do like, like will help me to be in a bubble where I don't hear anything around me. So the black wire, as I said, is more like attractive the way it looks but the plastics are not the same that used in the Encore Pro. So that's why if I would be working in an office and I will be using it for unified communications, of course, I will be using the black wire. Contact center, the Encore. This, for example, in the image is the black wire 8225, the one that you have seen here. For example, it has busy light. Why busy light? Because in an office, we can have maybe Rodney coming in, wanting to discuss about something, but in a contact center, because we're all focused on talking, with the customers, we're not gonna we're gonna, gonna need that busy light because all the time you're busy. So what's the need to have a busy light? Okay, it's not that it's not that we have that need in a in a context. So here we have busy light. It's made for teams. Um, the 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 uh, foams are much bigger. So these ones are yeah are bigger. They protect you a lot, but at the same time they are more like hot. So if you use it for the whole time, at the end you get a little bit like it's too hot in here. But with the Encore Pro, it's not the same. So you can use it all the time. You're not going to be that hot with those big, big, big foams. Okay, it's different. By the way, 
very soon, this I think it's this month, we will be launching. Uh, Rodney, that's something that you don't know. So it's a surprise for you today. <laughs> We're going to start launching the, do you know the DA to convert the Encore Pro to USB? You know, the, the DA70, DA80, it's an accessory that we can, you can connect the Encore to a USB, convert the headset. We're going to launch the DA7585, uh, which are the Teams variant. So if you have customers in a contact center, they need a Teams Encore Pro, we're going to be able to give them the, the Encore Pro series Teams version. So this is going to be a great launch, okay? No, that's great. That's really nice. So always first, you see? First, contact center headset Teams variant in the market. Then we have, we're going to go to the wireless headset this is going to be probably the most difficult part. We're going to try to make it in five minutes. But if you pay attention, I'm sure you're going to be able to make it. Okay? We're going to find two different families here. I'm going to try to do this quick, but, but do you understand? You have deck headsets in the wireless range and Bluetooth headsets. Okay? The deck headsets are the ones that you see in the image. They're called the Savvy. And... The Bluetooth are the ones that you see here, the Voyager series, okay? Voyager Bluetooth and DEC are the Stavi family, okay? This is very important. I don't know if you're end users or resellers, but most of the people in this planet, they don't know about DEC headsets. Maybe you are experts, you know about DEC headsets, but many people, they don't know about DEC. Uh, when I talk to family, when I talk to friends, when I talk to many people and they say, Ricardo, I want a wireless headset. In their head, they always think about Bluetooth. Because Bluetooth, my mom knows about Bluetooth. She doesn't know anything about technology. My grandma knows about technology, about Bluetooth, because, and she doesn't know, because Bluetooth is everywhere. Now it's Bluetooth, Bluetooth, everybody, Bluetooth. No, there's another technology, which is called DECT. So we have to be very sure what kind of technology we offer to our customers. Bluetooth is more for mobility, okay? Is the headset I would recommend for someone that works at the office, but not as much as outside. People that is maybe outside, going on the street, visiting customers, traveling, where they connect the cell phone to the headset. That is a Bluetooth headset and is the more interesting. At the same time, we need to understand that Bluetooth headsets, they work at the same range as the uh, same band as the um, Wi-Fi with these 2.4 gigahertz. Due to this, mm -hmm. sometimes the Wi-Fi can interfere in the range of the, uh, of the Bluetooth headsets and can cause some noises. At the same time, you cannot maybe de de uh, deploy the same number of Bluetooth headsets than deck headsets. Maybe imagine that because the channels that we have in the, in the uh, Bluetooth uh, band are like a lot less than the ones in deck. Imagine that we're in a very small space and we have maybe 30 Bluetooth headsets running at the same time with a, with, a, with a call at the same time. They can interfere between them. That's why the, there is a problem with density. You will hear a lot of this. We will talk about this the next day. High density, high density problems. Why? Because you, cho you chose the wrong solution. If imagine that you are a customer and you're telling me, oh, I want to go wireless. I want to go Bluetooth because that's why we hear Bluetooth and we love Bluetooth. But I will ask the customer, hey, Mr. Customer, can you see where you're going to, uh, the office, where you're going to have them all? How is the space? How many people are going to be using that headset? Uh, no, it's going to be people working from home. Okay, then maybe that's better. No, people that maybe are outside, sometimes they come to the office, but it's not so often. And look at the space, a very quite large space where we're not going to be in the same room, 20, 30 people together. Okay, with concurrency call. That is great. That is good. But if we're looking at an environment like an office, we're going to have like maybe 200, 300 people together. That is the right solution. You are not going to have density problems. At the same time, the range, because of the deck antenna, we can go maybe 150 meters, 180 meters, quite far. But with the Bluetooth, even though that Poly always uses Bluetooth class one, and now we have the best uh, um, Bluetooth uh, dongle that in the market, which is 5.1, we can go maybe to 30, 40 meters, but that's going to be the best. So there is quite a big difference between DEC and Bluetooth. At the same time, DEC, uh, DEC is like very secure because we have DEC security homologation. It means that 
the the uh, the uh, docking station where the antenna is placed is changing the protocols like every 30 seconds. This means that if I'm using a deck headset, nobody can enter from the outside and listen to our conversation. Well, Bluetooth is more sensitive and we don't have that sense of security. So maybe you are a bank, an insurance, hospital, where you're using private information, maybe that technology is the best one that you can be using. Otherwise, if you are working with private information, like maybe sensitive information, like, hey, Rodney, please give me your ID, your address, your phone number, maybe um, he's has the hospital. We're talking about some information that is private. That is something that we really take care of. We really want to take care of, and that, that information is not going outside. With deck security and all these savvy range that we have deck security, you know that the protocols are changing all the time and the system is fully secure. So that conversation will, won't go outside, okay? Ricardo, just a quick question regarding um, DICT, and um, uh, Dion has asked a question as well regarding DICT. So I, I, I do understand from the Bluetooth side, I've got my Bluetooth headset and I've got my Bluetooth tongue on my PC. Um, one of the advantages I've got is I pair it with my cell phone at um, the same time. Can I do it with a DICT headset? I think that's yeah. something we just need to touch base on as well. Yeah, yeah. I tell you, right now, the Savvy and the Voyager Office series, they give you both the option to connect to three devices, PC, desktop, and cell phone. But there is something that it's important. Bluetooth headsets, the Voyager series, uh, let's go to the Voyager series, you will see it here. You see that it says now Office, we have the Office range. The Office will allow you to connect PC, desk phone, and cell phone. Okay, so it's a, it's a docking station that will allow to connect to three. The difference is that the Voyager, the, the Bluetooth family, won't allow you to mix that. So imagine that I am with uh, Rodney on the, on the PC and maybe I had Neil on the cell phone. With the Savvy, with the deck headset, I can say, hey, Rodney, I have Neil on the other side. You want to talk to him? Yeah, I can press the two buttons and mix the call. So we are, we are three people, different devices, uh, talking on the same conversation. Well, if I'm with a Voyager family, Bluetooth, I can say, hey, Rodney, I have Neil on the other side. Please wait, I need to talk to him. I'll need to go back and forth, but we'll never mix it. At the same time, which is very interesting, imagine that I'm in a, in a, in a company and I am uh, showing Rodney how to talk to a customer, how to, uh, I don't know, do the trainings and all this. And if I have a savvy, I can say, hey, Rodney, you wanna join the conversation just to learn how I'm doing it? He comes with the headset, of course, same headset, same family. Okay, imagine I have a, a Savvy 8200 and he has the same headset. He comes with the headset, plays it on my, on my docking station and I can, I will hear a beep, like beep, 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 beep. Someone wants to enter the conversation. I can say accept and Rodney will be in the same call. So I can add headsets to the same docking station. I can add up to four headsets. So we can have more people you know, joining my, my uh, docking station and joining the conversation. Well, with Bluetooth headsets, I cannot have more headsets. It's one headset, one single conversation. That's it. No mixing, no adding headsets, okay? Is that good, right? I'm correcting. Yeah, but I'm correct in saying that um, on the on the um, deck headsets, your Bluetooth phone, for argument's sake, is connected to the base. Yeah. So the Bluetooth yeah. is in the base, not on a physical headset. Whereas right, with the Bluetooth right. headset, it's a headset pairing with the phone. Nobody has invented yet. Nobody yet will see in the future what happens. You never know. A hybrid headset that comes with a deck antenna and a Bluetooth antenna both in the headset. That's not exist. So it means that I'm with a Savvy. Imagine, let's go back to the Savvy. If I have a Bluetooth like the Savvy 8200 Office, the one that you see on the left, what will happen is that you'll need to have the, the cell phone close to the, to the uh, docking station, okay? Because the Bluetooth chipset is there, which is the good, the good and the bad part. Bad part, you need to leave the cell phone close to the docking station. Good part is that you will benefit from the deck range and will go 150 meters away from your cell phone. You can go outside to smoke or you can go to the printer. You can go to talk to someone and you will still on the conversation. I will never stop. Okay, that is a good thing. That is a really, really good thing. Okay, so, okay, already been talking 36 minutes and we reviewed Encore, Black Wires, Savvy, and the Voyager series. Okay, as I said before, because we always want to give you possibilities, 
Just remember that now we have introduced the Boeger Office Series, which is same headset, always remember, same performance, same headset. It's not that it, we improve the headset, it's just that we, the Office variant, always include a docking station that will connect to PC and desk phone and cell phone at the same time, okay? By the way, if someone tells uh, what Ricardo, but I heard that Bluetooth headsets from Poly are always multi-point. Multi-point means two devices at the same time, two cell phones, a PC and a cell phone. How can you do three in one? It's impossible. I mean, you multi-points are always two. Yeah, but we take benefits of something. The office variant, the docking station, it kind of mixes two into one. So PC and desk phone is one signal and the cell phone would be another signal. So two in one, but because one of the signals from the docking station from the base is mixing the PC and the desk phone with the quartz into one, okay? And well, by the way, this is the new Wager Focus 2. We launched it three, I think it was three weeks ago. I think I have it, yeah, it's here. I will do a demo tomorrow and you will be amazed. I tell you, don't, don't miss the, the presentation that we have. I don't know what is it is, it's, it's, I think it's in a few days. Don't miss the acoustic fence in this headset because you're gonna be blown away. You're gonna be like, wow, wow. I, I promise you, huh? you'll see. So uh, this is the, the Voyager. You have it in office variant and no office variant. And the last but not least, is the speakerphone family, this. I feel super proud of this. This is like if I was, I, I don't have kids, but this is like if it was my kid. I love showing this because when people try it, they are like, wow. So again, it's, it's, it feels good when you are the first in the market. Don't you think so? Right, so that's why mm -hmm. it feels so good. So we have always seen that we had speakerphones like the Callisto and like every speakerphone in the market, they're based on a single microphone, which is called omnidirectional, 360. I mean, it's like, wow, it's like 360, one single microphone. It's amazing, isn't it? Well, it's good, but it was not that good as this. Because, you know, using a single microphone for everything, it's quite difficult. So that's why we have the 20, 40, and 60 family. First, 20 would be the personal speakerphone. 40 and 60 would be um, to be used at the office and meeting rooms. And they will have more microphones than just one. 20 and 40 has three microphones and 60 would have six microphones. And these three microphones, for example, what it's gonna do is like two of them are gonna focus on the voice. Imagine I'm with Watney, I'm with Neil, we're on a, on a conference uh, call. The microphones will be fully active, trying to find who's talking and muting the other side. So just to be very, you know, good on the microphones and the audio quality is good. At the same time, the other microphone, because remember we had several microphones, is gonna be focusing on all the rebounds if we have glass, if we have wood, just to make sure that the audio quality is the best. Also, as you can see the speakers, you see here, not covered. It's not covered in a plastic space where the sound is not so crisp and so natural. We have reflex speakers that will give a more natural phone, sound. And at the same time, look at this, this is amazing. Look, if you're using at the meeting room, USB-C, USB-A, two different USB, so that you have all the options at the office. You don't have to, to buy, um, um, how you call it, an adapter, exactly. so that you, mm -hmm. you're gonna be able to offer, imagine you're, you're changing the, the laptops of some customer, or you are the customer, you have a new, new laptop for people that are joining the company, now they're USB-C, no problem, you, you give them both. It connects to the PC and the cell phone and the quality is great. And in the 40 and 60, they have DC chaining. So if you need to pair two at the same time, two speaker phones, they do have DC chaining. So you will cover more range in the room. And something that is amazing, look at this guys. This here, it's a USB port. You can charge your cell phones. It's a power bank, so it can charge your cell phone too. 20, 40, and 60, they will charge your cell phone. And they have this signal, this of a rocket. Here, there's a rocket, okay? And well, the button is covered, but there is a rocket there. So it can give it, I can give different functionalities. For example, I want to play pause music. I want to use Alexa. 
but the best one to me, it is that I've seen some customers, they say, oh, I love it. And they bought many speaker phones. And the problem is that imagine that Rodney goes in the meeting room today, connects to the, by Bluetooth to the speaker phone, and then he leaves. The problem is that Rodney, sometimes he works very close to that meeting room. And sometimes he's on the phone with whoever, a friend. So I'm in the meeting room with Neil, we're having a meeting. And because the Bluetooth connects all the time automatically, then we have Rodney in talking to his friend about, I love poly headsets, man. It's the best headset you can ever buy. Never buy anything apart from poly headsets. Yeah, it's good that if we are in the meeting room, I can hear Rodney talking about poly headsets, but it connects all the time. But thanks to this, to the rocket, we can either tell the employees, if you press the rocket bu button, it will clear the memory. So it will never happen that anymore. The memory will be fully clear. Or the other option is that we can tell, thanks to our software, hey, we want that after a few minutes that Rodney stopped the conversation, it's not on the phone anymore, you clean the memory. So it's always free and available for anybody to join and connect to the speakerphone. So no matter how many we have at the office, they will always be clean, okay, which is great. And the 60, by the way, the, the long one, you can connect a video camera. Right now, I'm using the new P5 from Poly. We, I would be able to connect, and it has microphones. But if I want to use these microphones, uh, I would be able to connect uh, to the USB from the Sync 60 and use these microphones. By the way, Daisy Cheney is always a Bluetooth um, pairing option. But in the next uh, software update that will be launching in, I think it's a month, something like that. You will be able to have Daisy Cheney always, also, uh, sorry, not always, also by uh, the USB port. So you will be able to have Daisy Cheney USB port and wirelessly with the Bluetooth connectivity, okay? Uh, it's super nice, by the way. Uh, the sure. demo that I will be doing tomorrow is with the Sync 40 and, and the acoustic fence, and it looks super nice with the LEDs. And the sound, I tell you, you can listen to music. It is protected against water, against dust, so if you take it, if you take it to the to the beach, if you take it to the swimming pool, you can listen to music and it's fully protected. It's absolutely amazing. And by the way, as always, you see Teams variant. Okay, so you have the Teams variant if it's needed, or you have the standard variant. Okay, you have both, and you have here a charger to leave it on the table with no cords. So you have an induction. Okay. Charger. Um, Ricardo, we got a quiz question from John. John, um, I'm just going to allow you to talk with you. You want to ask Ricardo a question? Hi, yeah. Hi, Ricardo. Hi, uh, just John. a quick question. Um, the Sync 20 daisy chaining, is it available across all models or only certain models, like in the Jabra range, where it's only available on certain models? Yeah. Well, the, the Sync 20, remember, is personal speakerphone. So yeah. personal means that it's going to be for you. So it does not have the Daisy Cheney option. It is on the, the ones that are for like more like meeting rooms, 40 and 60. That's why the, um, the 40 and 60 have this, like we charge it and live it in the meeting room. So because the 20 is more personal, I don't think like, you know, adding Daisy Cheney to a 20, because I'm going to be alone. So it's 40 and the 60 uh, and you can, you can uh, yeah, you have the Daisy Cheney between them, but it's 40 and 60, not 20. And you can have, okay. and you can, and you will be able to have a sync, a sync 60 and a 40, if that's what you're asking in daisy chain. Not, it doesn't have to be always 60, 60, 40, 40. Okay. Uh, I is think that, that definitely that, answers this question, yeah. Yeah. John, is that, are you happy with that question? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, good. Okay, great stuff. Any more questions? I love when you ask questions. It means that you I've are- I've got a couple of, yeah. yeah I've got a couple great. of questions which customers have started um, before we maybe close off. Um, one of the questions that came up, um, the new USB-A to USB-C adapter, is that gonna be standard on all of the devices going forward? Which one, the USB? The USB-A to USB-C adapter, that small little adapter which you've got on the, um, I think it's the 40 you showed, is that gonna be standard on all the devices? Yeah, yeah, well, we're gonna use it uh, in the 40. We're gonna use it, we have it in the 60, but okay. And 
okay, I'm going to show you something, but please never tell that I showed you this, okay? This is something I never showed to anyone. I promise, huh? this is true. If you give me one minute, I'll show you something very interesting, okay? Yeah, <laughs> uh, but you can listen to me. Well, this is something that I have been, I received uh, very recently from the US, uh, well, about a month ago. And I think it's, it will answer your question um, in this case, because um, yeah, it's something that I think that people love that. This is the feedback that we got from customers that they really love that. I, they really appreciate this, not having to buy the, the adapter. Okay, so I'm back. Look, you see this, a DA, do you see it? Yeah? Yeah. Okay, for the contact center, look what's in here. Oh, that's the same. Yeah, so it is something that we will implement in, in many of the, I'm not sure about the headsets because I think the black wire, for example, is not gonna have that, I don't think so. But it is true that, for example, the, the, the DA adapter, uh, the, for example, the, the Sync family, yeah, many, many more, you know, uh, headsets and, and products will, will have that, okay, in the future. No, <clears throat> thanks, thanks, Ricardo. That's brilliant. Um, I think that's going to be more and more. Um, another question we do have here: um, the, when, when you went through the uh, Blackwire series and the Blackwire range, the Blackwire C thirty two hundred wasn't there. Is it, it's that um, because it's being in the um, discontinuing phase? Will it still be going on? What What's the no. plans around the thirty uh, two hundred? Yeah. Range? The 32 series is not end of life. Uh, it's not end of life right now. It is not. Um, it will probably be by the end of the year, I think. Uh, it is true that the 33 series, I prefer to add it more as an entry level series, as the entry level headset. It's true that you can still buy in the 32 series. I think the 33 series is a, it's a much better headset. I mean, uh, it's very similar in terms of pricing. It's not that, that different. But I think it's in terms of microphones, speakers, the way it looks, Tim's variant, uh, it's a good upgrade. The 32 series would probably, I, I think that we launched 33 series like about a year and a half ago, something like that. And we still have the 32 mm. series. I think it is time to remove from the family, from the Blackwire family to remove it. But I think it will happen maybe end of the year. But even if it happens end of the year, you know we still have like six months something like that, probably. So you, you will still have it on maybe until 2022, half of 2022, maybe beginning of 2022. So we, it will still with us for a time. All right, I've got a couple of questions coming through here. Um, when 4 hits it, uh, is connected to the savvy base, will the call be terminated on all of these headsets when a master headset drops the call? Wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna need to read that one. That was a long one. What is it? Uh, is it in, a, in the q and it is, it is in the quick q and yes. Okay, which one is it? Uh, okay. Uh, someone from Tyrone, yes. To the savvy base. Will the COVID, okay, okay, okay. Good question. I love, that's because you have been very like, okay, you've been listening to me. Okay, I love it. Okay, this is really important. We can have two, two options, okay? By software. Uh, the way it's done is like as, as soon as I finish the conversation and Rodney has joined, because I am the master, as I finish, everybody's out of the party. This is like, this is my house. This is my party. When I leave, everybody leaves. Bye-bye. Okay. But I have an option that my software, I can live it, you know, the way it is and you're still in. So if I have to go outside to buy some ice for the drinks, you don't have to leave, guys. I'm just going, I'm leaving. But as soon as I'm back, as soon as I have another call, you are all in. So I don't have to be connecting all the time, everyone. So I can leave you inside. Okay, good. Oh, great stuff. Um, next question. What is the difference between the BT600 and the BT700? And then I've got a follow-up to the question. Can the BT700 be used with products using the BT600 and vice versa? <laughs> but... This is for today or this is for the next day? We have, we, have good, we, have good, we have good listeners here, huh? Okay. Okay, I'm not gonna tell you more about this, a lot more because we, this, will be, we, this will be covered in the next session, okay? Because it's more about technology, but the, the BT700 is a more advanced 
uh, USB dongle than the BT600. First thing is that it's, it's a lot smaller. Uh, I will tell you why in the, the next session. The range is much better, more robust, and it will give you more meters. I think it's around 15 to 20 meters more than the BT600. Right now, it's not recommended to use uh, the old Voyager series with the BT700, but as I heard last week, I think that you will be able to use. And in the future, I think that the, the Voyager series will come all with the BT700. What I'm trying to say, which I don't know yet, it's not confirmed, is that probably my idea is that, for example, if you buy the Voyager 6200, the one I'm using on the neck, my, my neck band, it won't come anymore with the BT600, it will come with the BT700. That's my thought and what I think that it will might happen, okay? But it makes sense. <clears throat> next, it makes sense. Next, yeah, next session, next session, <laughs> more information, okay? Next question. Can you confirm that the Focus 2 is an addition to the Focus range and not a replacement for the original Focus? Uh, this is a difficult one, okay? Okay. It is and it is not. I mean, the Focus 2 is the most advanced headset in the market, professional business. Acoustic, uh, we will review that tomorrow, but acoustic uh, the next day, acoustic fans, uh, the noise canceling, the phone, blah, 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 better than the Focus 1, which I still love. Uh, it is the, I think is the, it, it is the only headset in the company that when we launched it, everybody, every employee received a Focus 1. It is true that it's not end of life product. It won't be maybe until 2023, I tell you. It's going to take some time. I don't even heard about an end of life of the Voyager Focus 1. We still see as the top option when you want to give very good performance at a very good price. The Focus 2 is super new. The technology is super new. So we will never be able to get to that pricing uh, right now. It's impossible to, to get to the Focus price with all the technology that this headset has. So right now, what I can tell you, it will never substitute the Focus 1 nowadays. Not, not in Christmas, not beginning next year. I don't see it coming maybe until maybe end of next year or maybe 2023. Right now, it will be an addition to the family and we'll see what happens in the future. Of course, in, I think uh, in a certain time, like with the 32 series that has been already with us in 33 series for a year and a half, one day you will want to buy the Focus 2, same price as the Focus 1. But... Right now, it's it's super new, so it will take some time. Okay. Yeah, <clears throat> you're not going to get this done at this at this stage, well, <laughs> yeah. unfortunately. Ricardo, I've got the last question quickly. Um, uh, the question is: Two devices are currently um, only UC variants. It's the Black Wire 5200 and the Voyager 4200 series. Will this be revised? Will that um, also include the MS version going forward, or where we're currently with those two series? What 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 two headsets are? The, the Blackwire C5200 is only yeah. on the UC variant. It doesn't have a um, MS variant or a Teams variant. Um, and the same for the Voyager Focus, uh, sorry, the Voyager uh, B4220 UC. It's also only a UC variant. Will a Microsoft variant be available for those devices going forward? Ah, okay, now I understand. Okay, 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 okay. So you're talking about, you want all the headsets to be team certified, isn't it? That's what you want. The current headset, which doesn't have a team variant. Yes, correct. Okay. But you know what's the good thing about this call? What you ask, you get it. Isn't it that amazing? You come to a call <laughs> where you're learning a lot and you ask for things and you get it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what I would do is just stay connected because probably next month is August. Next month, you'll have a surprise. So we're talking about the 42 series, okay? The Voyager 42 yeah. series. Maybe there's something new coming on, uh, like something better microphones, better noise canceling, Teams variant. Amazing, but I can tell you more. So yeah, it's coming. We'll see. Maybe mm, you have some good surprises. And now the 5200, 
I can tell you that we're working on it. We're working on it. Also about having different USB dongles in the box, because if you see right now, the, the box has been made for the BT600. So let's see what happened. But we listen to you always. And because of this, I think it's good when you have a vendor that really listens to the customer, ask questions. I was very surprised. Um, I, I, work, I worked for Plantronics for six years already. Yeah, and before that, I was five years in a different vendor. Uh, so I think like I know a lot about us and the competition. And I tell you what, I was very surprised when I, when I joined Plantronics fully, people used to come with the U, from the US with pictures from new headsets, technology. They asked me, Ricardo, I want meetings with your top customers. And they were asking, what do you want? What do you like? What do you don't like? Blah, 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 blah. blah. And what is good that this is coming because someone already, well, some customer already asked, oh, we want USB-C, Viagra 5200. Uh, oh, we want Teams variant. If nothing changes, I think soon we will win the award as the best partnership between Microsoft and Holy uh, as the preferred vendor. And it's due to this because I think we are the vendor with more uh, team certified headsets in the market and probably the Viagra 5200 and the Voyager 42, whatever it is called, will be in the in the next month, two months. Okay. Oh, thank you. It's exciting stuff to look forward. Ricardo, I think we've run out of time. Um, yeah, I think I would just like from my side, um, just like to close. Um, the next webinar is scheduled for Thursday, um, same time, same place. Um, if you haven't registered yet, please just go back to the um, invitation of the Poly Headset Revolution. Um, I will ask Neil to send it out again. Just register for the webinar too. Um, I think that's going to be a bit more on the technology. We're going to focus on what's the differences between ANC and hybrid ANC. The differences, as you discussed, between the Bluetooth dongles. Um, acoustic fence, what it is, how does it work versus noise cancellation. I'm very excited about that. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, you will love it. I tell you that when I do it, people is like, wow, it's like magic. You will be super surprised. I, if you have time that day, if you want to be, I try to do things very, that are interesting for you, that you learn, that you go and you say, okay, Ricardo took one hour of my time, but it, it was worth. So um, you will be surprised. I'll try to do my best that you really enjoy it and that you like it, okay? As I said uh, before, like, um, yeah, feel free to reach me if you have questions, emails, whatever. You have there my email, so you can reach me anytime, okay? Thank you. Yeah, and I think um, any questions, anything else from my side as well, from the resellers, please, you've got um, the contact details of all your business development managers. Reach out to them um, if you need to assist with any solutions, um, placing headsets where it's required, samples, anything like that. Please contact us and we'll oh, be happy Rodney, to assist. by the way, mm -hmm. I don't know if, you, if they know, but this quarter, this month, and next month, again, I think it's going to be September or so, you have a good promo, just for exclusive, okay, exclusive, that is where you have this, SYNC 20, special price, Blackway 33 Series, Teams version, uh, special price, Voyager Focus 1, special price. So you have a bunch of headsets, very good promo, I would take advantage because I tell you, people in Europe is super jealous because they don't have access to those discounts. I had, I don't know how I got them approved and they're available for you guys. Oh, that's exciting. Um, I'll definitely have a look at it and then definitely communicate through to our uh, reseller base. Thanks for that. Great. Great stuff. Ricardo, once again, thank you and looking forward to our session, our follow-up session on Thursday. Thanks to you guys. Thank you. i see you on Thursday. Bye-bye. Perfect. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.